Hello, dear students. In our lesson today, we're going to do some grammar. More specifically, we're going to see the model verbs. There are a lot of model verbs, but we're going to focus on some of them. So, first of all, there are some models that show obligation. So something that must be done or something that you have to do or something that you need to do. All of these show obligation. So something that you feel that is the rule um, or there is a need for you to do. It's something strong and you say that you have to do it or you need to do it. Let's see some examples. I must talk to her right now. So I feel that this is necessary for me to be done. Or my brother has to wear a suit to work. This is the rule. So there is a rule at his work that says that you have to wear a uniform or you have to wear a tie. And Neil often needs to do overtime. It's necessary for him to do sometimes overtime. So must, have to, and need to refer to obligation and necessity. If we're talking about lack of obligation, so you don't have to do something or you don't need to do something or you needn't do something. This shows lack of obligation. Let's see some examples. A teacher doesn't have to do physical work. So it is not necessary to do physical work. Or you needn't come to the office. You can work from home. This means that if you want to, of course, you can go to the office, but you needn't. So it's not necessary for you to do it. Or you don't need to write the essay again. It's fine. Just once is okay. This means that if you want to, you can write again the essay, but you don't need to. So it's fine, even just once. So lack of obligation, we use don't have to and don't need to or needn't. We can uh, continue and we're going to focus on that model verb that shows that something is not allowed. So if it's not allowed, it means that you can't or you mustn't. Why? Because it is not allowed. So you can't do it. I can't leave the office during office hours. I can't. I have to be at work. And you mustn't check your private email at work. Why is that? Because you should check your emails, your private emails, at home, for example, not at work. You can't do it. You mustn't do it. Let's move on. Now, the modal verbs must, need to, have to, and can. We're going to put them here in the four categories and in the first person or the third. So, if we want to say that something is necessary to be done, I have to wear a uniform, for example, it's the rule, or he has to, I need to, or he needs to, or somebody must do it, it's necessary to be done. It's not necessary to be done. So I don't have to wear a uniform, for example, or he doesn't have to wear a uniform, or I don't need to, he doesn't need to wear a uniform. Hmm? or he needn't wear a uniform. Something is permitted. This means that I can do it. 
I can, for example, change classes. Or when it is not permitted, so I can't do it, or I mustn't do something. Focus on the difference between have to and must, or can't and mustn't. Have to and can't refer to rules and regulations. I have to work long hours because I have to work at the specific hours that I am obliged or I have to be uh, to school, for example, from 8 to 1 o'clock. And this is the rule. Whereas, I must remember to shave. This shows that you have an inner obligation. So something that you feel that you uh, must do. Not the rule. It's not the rule. It's not the obligation. Let's move on. We have an exercise and we need to put the difference between. We need to put mustn't or needn't. Let's look at the example. You needn't rush. You've got plenty of time. So there is no need to rush. You can go slowly. But you mustn't rush. It's important to be 100% accurate. So don't rush. You mustn't rush. This shows an obligation, something that you have to do. Number two, you, what is missing here, go. You can stay if you want. So you can stay or you can leave. So you needn't go. You can do whatever you want, either stay or leave. Or you, what is missing, go. We haven't finished yet. So here we have an obligation. So you mustn't go because we haven't finished. Whereas here you can choose either to stay or to leave. So this is the difference. Number three, you tell her. It's a secret between you and me. So this is an obligation. You mustn't tell her, since it is a secret, only for me and you. Or you tell her, she already knows everything. everything. So, since she knows, you needn't tell her. But still, if you want to, you can tell her. Number four, you eat that. You can leave it if you want. So again, you can choose. That's why you put needn't. You needn't eat that. It means that it's not necessary for you to eat it. Whereas you eat that, it's really bad. Since it is really bad for you, then there is an obligation. Don't eat it. So you mustn't eat it. Let's move on. And now we have has to and doesn't have to. We are going to have some professions and we need to say whether these people have to do something or don't have to do something. And we are given some of uh, the phrases, be fit, be good at maths, have a degree, have a driving license, have good eyesight, speak English, wear a uniform, work at the weekend. We're going to give some examples. You can choose, choose others as well. For example, the police officer. A police officer has to wear a uniform. So this is to be done because it is the rule. It's the regulation that says that the police officer has to wear a uniform. But a police officer doesn't have to be good at maths. It doesn't mean that if you don't know maths, you cannot be a police officer. That's why we say that a police officer doesn't have to be good at maths. It's okay even if he is not good at maths. Let's see the secondary school teacher. A secondary school teacher, of course, has to have a degree. Can a secondary teacher teach without having finished the university? Absolutely not. 
That's why we say sh she has to have a degree, but she doesn't have to be fit. It's okay if the teacher is not that fit. She doesn't have to be fit. I'm going to give some more examples. We have the bus driver. So the bus driver, for example, has to have a driving license. He has to. He is obliged to have a driving license, but he doesn't have to be good at maths. You can use other expressions, of course, from the ones that we saw. The airline pilot. Can you think any of the expressions that you can say, that you, that you can see here? So, the airline pilot has to be fit, of course, but he doesn't have to have a driving license because we're talking about the plane and not the car here. So it's okay if he doesn't have a driving license. And the accountant. So think of a person that works, for example, in a bank. This person has to be very good at maths, of course. Differently, this person cannot work as an accountant, but she or he doesn't have to be fit. It's not necessary for an accountant to be fit. And let's move on with another exercise. So we need to choose the correct option from the model verbs that we discussed. It's not difficult, let's do that together. It is a formal, it is a formal meeting, right? Well, B says, no, you must, you don't need to, or you can wear a tie. So it is not a formal meeting. So you don't need to wear a tie. Number two, can I smoke in here? I'm afraid you can't. So since you can't smoke, you need to smoke anywhere inside this building. You needn't or you mustn't. Since you can't smoke in here, it means that you mustn't smoke. Number three, what's wrong? You look stressed. And B says, I am. I can finish all this work before the end of the week. I needn't finish or I have to finish. Since I am stressed, it means that I have to finish all this work within, uh, before the end of the week. There is so much of it. Number four, Mr. Long, I'd like to take the day off tomorrow. And Mr. Long says, I'm sorry. I am afraid you don't need to, you must or you can't. We are too busy in the office. So since we are too busy, the boss says, you can't take the day off because we are too busy. Number five, you look worried. What is wrong? I have a meeting with my boss today. I needn't get to work on time. I need to get on work on time or I don't need to. Since I am really worried, it means that I need to be on time. And number six, why can't Sarah come with us? She need to prepare a presentation for her boss. She has to or she can prepare. She cannot come with us because she has to prepare. So there is an obligation that she has for the boss. And that was the end of this exercise. Now, we need to do one more thing. We need to write some questions using have, have to, or can. Look at the example. Do you have to wear a uniform? So is it the rule of the school that says that you have to wear a uniform? Number two. Call your teachers by their first name. Are you going to put, do you have to, or can you call your teachers by their first name? Of course, can, because you might call them or not, depending on the relationship that you have, of course. 
use your mobile phone in class. So, can you use your mobile phone in class? Yes or no? Number four, take end of term tests in each subject. So, can you or do you have to? It's the rule. And of course, do you have to take uh, the tests? Because it is the regulation of the school. And number five, change classrooms for each lesson. So how does it work in your school, for example? Do you have to change classrooms? Do you have to go in a different classroom for uh, art, for example? Do you have to go in a different classroom for maths? And number six, leave school before you are 18. So can you leave school before you are 18? Now, having these questions, you can write the answers about yourselves as homework. In order for you to uh, feel certain that you've understood the model verbs, I would like from you to do those exercises many times. Thank you for paying attention. Goodbye.